See us do something stupid. So hold my beer. I'm going to try something. And wrapping up our uh, mapling operation, now that we got a good snow going, it's, March is about done. But anyway, uh, it's snowing good. So what we do is we transfer all of our sap down to our sugar house, if you will, in these big pickle barrels. And uh, yeah, transfer it into other pickle barrels down there and then send it from there into our evaporator. And that's where the operation goes next. Welcome to the Drake Maple Key Operations. Here's uh, my dad, Tom. He is running the, uh, the pumps. This is, uh, we usually keep everything that we're about to boil in these three pickle barrels. He's currently running a pump system in a hose above head into our pre-treating warming uh, tub up there, which curls around copper wire and feeds into this side here. Uh, you can see it run right in. And then we have our four foot long by two foot wide pan built on top of a 275 gallon, give or take, home heating oil tank that has been cut up and made into an evaporator. Inside of it is a bunch of fire brick and everything else, and we just have a wood-fired operation. And that's how we boil down the maple sap. On to the fires of hell. You can see that burn box goes way up in there. There we go. Well, my hands are gonna melt. She's warm. We also have a very technical way that we measure the depth of what's going on in here. We have a stick with gallons measured, and we pull it up and see that it's wet to just over the 10 mark. And so we've got about 11, possibly 12 gallons going. We know we don't ever want to let that go below five, because then we're going to have a whole thing of syrup. And it is still going good. Things are getting exciting right now for us. We are about to take this off and kind of see our bubbling crude in there we're down to about eight gallons and on this size pan what we like to do is get it close to five and so the plan is because if we try to take it off of this spout here to finish um this is run the risk of not being able to get this down heat quick enough and it would burn the the stuff remaining in there into the pan and then make maple candy when we're not trying to. So, got a couple of big old uh, ash logs here um, and a few of these uh, these kettles that we're going to be putting it into. So in a short minute comes the exciting uh, part that Dad and I are going to attempt to remove though. I'm going to try to get it on film. We'll see if I can get a good angle on it. Us manhandling this thing off. And then the scary part is then that leaves a very large open uh, top to a pretty hot fire that we, we're gonna we're letting burn down here as we go so that it's not too hot we're gonna put it on these stumps that are cold and wet uh, drain it down there get it into the other things put a little water in the pan rinse it and then put it back up on here to go ahead and steam off and help clean the pan from inside for the season we'll see how it goes okay we've waited as long as we've stood all we can stand and we can't stand no more, we're going to try to lift it off here. I'm, I don't know if this is going to get a whole angle, but you might hopefully not see us do something stupid. So hold my beer. I'm going to try something. See. All right. So, if you wanted to see, careful, that's hot. You know how I can tell? <laughs> Look again to the fires of Mordor. Where's my, where's my... Anyway, okay. All right. So, I can't tell if I'm looking at this thing anymore. All right. So, here's our pan. And... And stuff is floating around. We are now 
going to try to filter and get it all where by calculations of our measuring stick, the highly technical process that it is, we are now going to try to get it now into one of those barrels, which it should fit into one of these uh, canning jarring things. And here we are. So an extra filter process. And we are going to fill this thing up and it should be about one of these where we're estimating we've got four to five gallons in here. And it is steaming like hell. But again, if anybody was curious about the inside of our uh, evaporator, this is it. See it's lined with fire brick. I'm pretty sure these uh, plans are online to cut up these oil tanks and make a big wood-fired unit out of it. You can see it has a big slant in the middle and it goes up and then the front of the oil tank is welded on up here. Goes into a stove pipe that we have straight up there and it kind of the air breathes straight underneath here. But we'll be coming at you with we're going to put this in tonight and then we're going to re-bring that jug up to a boil tomorrow and finish and bottle and it's going to be great. Okay. So we'll add some water. Now basically we have filtered about down to four gallons just in this one pot. Now since it's getting a little bit late, it's a little past seven o'clock at night now, and it's snowing again, we are going to uh, let that cool for the night and we're gonna bring it up um, to my house to do the finish on this uh, two, uh, just, I say two gallons. So it's about four gallons now. We're expecting this run, it was smaller, is about uh, maybe a hundred gallons. We're expecting about two gallons of syrup to come from it. So. Um, they, they had done a, a larger run earlier in the season, but this is a good one And I think it's gonna be the last because all the trees are starting to butt out And if I have any more up at my house, I can always just do it on a um, turkey fryer uh, For a small batch if there is enough to bother with so stay tuned. We'll be right back with the finishing operation It is now uh, the morning after we had finished their big boil and we have everything down to um, about four gallons. So I just added a little flake of butter. One of the interesting things is butter uh, added to your boil when you're doing it the old-fashioned way like this actually helps to get rid of that froth on the top. And you can see it's actually just starting to boil now. So we're going to bring this from the about four gallons that it is right now to about two gallons. If we can get at least one gallon off of this, then we'll bring it into the stove inside the house and finish the boil and uh, put the candy thermometer in there and wait till it gets to, what is the temperature we're looking for to get it up to? 219. 219, and that's when we are at maple syrup. But yeah, that's coming across as I'm doing this right now. So stay tuned. Yeah. Okay, we're on right now. We are about to get, uh, come off of the boil outside and transfer into the filter system. This is not syrup yet. It is uh, getting close, so we're gonna pass it through the filter. All right, we're about to get loud with the vacuum. Okay, so we had to pull out one of the layers of filter that it filled up, which means it's doing its job. So now we are straining it back and we have, we're gonna guesstimate about another half a gallon to um, go ahead and- I like to put it on a tilt. All right. So we have got everything transferred to the pot. Now we're finishing on the stove top. We are definitely on. We are rolling. All right, so we're going to do one more hydrometer test as our boil is getting down there. And we have our candy thermometer going too. And we always want to be sure. Now, no. once this is ready, it'll we, be flowed up. We want up, to get to there. It'll flow up to a red line right there, but it has to kind of yeah, bob up. It still has too far to go. So we just did another hydrometer test. And this, you can almost see the boil is getting, it's changing. It's getting to a point right now 
that if the thermometer was correct and it's not fully in there, it would be right on the edge of getting to be uh, 219 degrees, but we've scraped uh, the edge foam out uh, a couple of times, but you can almost watch it. We're getting to a point where it's very, very close, and we are almost about to be hustling to get it back into the filter. We've got three to four layers of filters that we're ready to pull one off at a time once we put them all in there and start the jarring process. Okay. Oh, it's that, that red line. That's right there. I, we are at a point where it's uh, on. very, it again, right very on. close. Oh, actually, I think as we're watching this boil, mm -hmm. we are... I want the right temperature. We are... Oh, it is just about there. <laughs> okay, here comes the transfer. Okay, so now we have super hot. You want gloves? <laughs> oh yeah, probably a good idea. Let me have one at least to put on below. It's gonna get hot. Yeah. And that is pure New Hampshire maple syrup coming out of our spout. We're hoping to fill at least well, we're hoping for eight of these jars. That would give us about two gallons of yield, but you know, every time we move it from here to there, we lose a little bit, but it's still good looking stuff. Look at that. You can hold it up to the sun here in just a second. And be Okay, final count. Those six are filled and flipped, and this stuff's hot, and then one. So we have a little bit over uh, one and a half gallons, not quite two gallons. So we were hoping for a little bit more yield than that, but that's all right. This is really, really good stuff. And it's uh, poured into the jars, flipped over so that those jars can properly seal. They're just regular ball jars. And uh, basically four of these quart jars is about a gallon, give or take. And yeah, that's what we get. So thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, and this was our second round of the season, and uh, stick with us, and uh, get outside, get your hands dirty, and we'll see you in the next one.